vertical circle ride has a radius of, so that's our r, and then the period, remember, is the t. So we got to find, first step is find the centripetal acceleration. And we're going to use this guy for, right, so it's going to be 4 squared. Our radius is 9.2. This is like a Ferris wheel, right? Only it's going pretty fast. Okay, let's see. 4 pi squared r over, and then t squared would be 10.5. Don't forget to square the t. Okay, so 4 pi squared times 9.2 divided by 10.5 squared. And I'm getting that the acceleration is 3.2943. Right, and then our next step is uh, convert to g's. By the way, if you don't convert to g's, if you do this, uh, then make g just 9.8, right? We're just doing it with g's, which I think is simpler. So uh, the, um, the g's are just, we just divide by 9.8, right? So 3.2943 divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. So just hit divided by 9.8. And I get zero, uh, the g's of the ride is 0 0.336 g's. All right. And then uh, what do we feel at the top and the bottom? <laughs> at the bottom, let's start with the bottom. The bottom is easy. 1 g plus the ride, right? So the ride is 0.336. So it's 1 g plus 0.336 is 1.336 g's. Be a little bit heavier, 33.6% heavier, and this is at the bottom. And that's because, of course, we're accelerating up at the bottom. At the top, we're accelerating down, right? So 1g minus the ride is equal to 1g minus 0.336. So 1 minus the answer I got is 0.664. So the, the top is going to be 0 0.664 g's. And the bottom is going to be, yeah? So, so find the acceleration, turn it into g's, do that, right? Okay.